Hey guys, this is Dragon Ball Rock 86, and as the title suggests, this is completing my my cosplay. Um, I ordered some key ingredients to my last cosplay that I had for Comic Con, and like my original mask that I've been using, it was like I had it for years, and the whole back section of the mask was like split up the middle which made it look un, you know, made it look terrible. And aside from that, um, the front of the mask looked real, I didn't like the facial expression, but at the time, that was the only Freddy mask that I could find. So, that's what I went with. It was like 30 bucks, no. Yeah, it was like 30 bucks, I think. It was 30 or 50, I, I don't think it was 50. I guarantee it wasn't 50, so I think it was 30. Regardless, I've seen Walmart.com. I did some searching on there. They had another one and it had a better facial expression on it. So, today I went to Walmart.com pickup and picked it up. And a new hat to go with it, too. So, I, my, first ex my first impression was in the store because they opened the box to show you the items. So that way you got the items that you were wanting and blah blah blah. First item that I'm going to show you. Oh crap, don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do. Anyway, first item I'm going to show you is the replica Nightmare on Elm Street hat. Now, my first impression of this was I thought that there was something wrong with the hat because both sides of the hat has this hole in it. I thought that it was damaged in shipment or something, but upon further inspection, it's like actually like burn marks from fire catching on it so that's really adds to the effect and I really like it um it even tells you that's the adult deluxe uh, Freddy hat it looks very nice and it looks a lot better than the Freddy hat that I had been using in my cosplay so yeah I'm very very pleased with this hat and the material feels a little bit softer and more genuine than the other hat was so, I'm going to put that over here to the side. Okay. Now for the, uh, this or this, you know, it's, it's the Freddy mask. Now, his facial impression is not the greatest either. It's kind of like my old mask is, except my old mask, his face, his mouth is really wide open, smiling, and it's got holes here here and here to breathe out of whereas this one doesn't this mask seems like it's a softer material as well maybe it won't make me sweat quite as bad when I have it on um, something I noticed about this mask now upon further inspection it's got to split up the middle as well but it's got like a little hole right here so which indicates that this was meant to be here to help you get the mask on and to help for a better fit which really helps out a lot um, side details of him very nice back details of him top details I'm sorry I haven't gotten a chance to remove this plastic yet on him but top details this is labeled as a deluxe Freddy Krueger adult overhead latex mask. So, looks very nice. Um, haven't noticed any real big any mask flaws with this one. It looks very well done. So, I'm going to take this. Maybe I'm going to take this. Is that are you serious right now? <laughs> They have the plastic that's on this on the internal paper inside it, so it's easily fixable. That one is taken care of. This one, there's a center one. I do this very carefully because I don't want to damage the mask whatsoever. Alright, that's off.
Okay, let me make sure all this plastic stuff's out of it. Nope, it's not. Okay. Now, let's try this thing on. Doesn't look too bad, honestly. Doesn't look bad at all. I kind of like it. Now, let's get this thing on. Doesn't look bad. I'm very impressed. This will be very nice to wear to Comic Con. I like the designs on the eyes too. It's really awesome. My other mask really doesn't do that much. Um. Yeah, let me go show you the other mask. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. So, the next thing that I upgrade is going to be the claws. Because obviously, they need an upgrade. I can already tell it's going to be very difficult for me to breathe. Because this mask has no ventilation down here. It's all up here. It's going to be very difficult for me to breathe. So, I'm going to have to do, you know extra careful not to over exhilarate myself or get too excited but here is my old mask as you can tell quite a bit of breathing here and the facial expression sucks the skin actually looks lighter than this mask too so this one's more of a ripple cut than what this one is. And as you can tell, right in this area, it's not quite as detailed as it is up here. So, it's going to be very nice to, uh, you know, wear. And here's the split. I, I guess, now actually, now that I look at it, the split, there's nothing wrong with this split. This is the way it's supposed to be. So, that makes me happy, so this mask isn't trash, I can actually wear this still. And this will just be a second mask that I'll wear to Comic Con. But yeah, and got a little hole here where you can actually hear, plus try for more air ventilation as well. And it's got little holes in its nose so you can breathe too. Whereas this one, does not. The only air passage is through these eyes. That's it. But this is a lot thinner than this mask is. And it kind of feels more comfortable than this mask does as well. So, like I said, I'll be wearing this one to Comic Con. This one, maybe like Halloween or something, to give out treats to the kitties or something. <laughs> 
Now, this hat that I got with him, obviously, you can tell that it's pretty basic. There's nothing damaged or done to it wrong compared to this hat that obviously got burnt marks and it looks more like a Freddy hat. Whereas this hat does not. But this is still a nice bond, there's nothing wrong with it. I'll probably use it in the future for stuff, but I probably will not use it, you know, to wear with this mask. Now, as I said, like the last thing I'm going to use, I mean, the, la the next thing I'm going to upgrade is my claws. And these are really nice claws, very well put together. However, I've seen better looking ones online that are like done by professional people and whatnot. I'll probably buy one of them because something I don't like about this is these. The way there's supposed to be skin or whatever, but it, it looks really crappy latex. And if you could tell, there's holes up here for your fingers to go through, which makes it a need a better, comfortable fit. Hardly anybody's gonna notice that because they'll be too busy looking at these. But yeah, the next thing I upgrade, probably for the next con, will be my gloves and maybe a better. Freddy shirt because all I'm using is a T shirt that looks like Freddy shirt now. But anyways guys that's it for this. I just figured that I would share with you guys the completion for this con anyway of my Freddy Krueger costume. Um the video for that Minecraft Mind Scare video, it'll be up today at some point. I'll at least ed edit it today and it'll probably be up tomorrow. So look for that coming soon. Please like, comment, subscribe, slap that like button down there or Freddy will come and get you. And uh, please stay tuned for further videos guys. See you later.